my name's Jack, and if the people for the motion would address the like implied consent of Congress, for example, against ISIS, there was no formal declaration of war, but Congress has sort of showed its approval by funding the air war against ISIS, so if you could comment on that, please. That's a great question, actually. Let's take that to Mike McConnell. Uh, the administration has taken the interesting position that the war against ISIS is authorized by the AUMF, the Authorization for Use of Military Force, uh, that George Bush was given by Congress uh, to fight al-Qaeda. Uh, on the theory that ISIS, even though it's a competitor and in some ways an enemy of ISIS, is in fact an offshoot uh, of ISIS, uh, you know, President Obama, after asking Congress to repeal the AOMF, uh, uh, has now used it not only to, uh, to fight an entirely new organization, but to uh, move from uh, Iraq into Syria. I didn't mention this as an example because I don't think it's entirely clear cut. There is, in fact, an AUMF out there. Eric made the argument that you can stretch the language to include it. President Obama is apparently rather uncertain as to whether he has this authority or not, but he hasn't been willing to go to Congress and have an honest debate about whether Mike, we should think, be engaged in it. Mike, I think the questioner's point was that if Congress continues to fund the operations, that that's a tacit going along. Oh, the, oh, the, the Supreme Court has consistently said that appropriations are not uh, a substitute for authorization opposing, of legal action. Opposing side, want to respond to that? Well, well the, 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 the questioner makes a good point that the way the world really works as opposed to the way the founders were sort of hoping it would work in the 18th century is that frequently there's collaboration between the president and Congress, which isn't formally reduced into statutes, but nonetheless, reflects the joint uh, judgment and, and beliefs of, of both branches. So whatever you think of that from a legal perspective, it would be very hard to call that usurpation of, uh, of, of Congress's authority. I want to remind you that we...